Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from Interest.co.nz and welcome to a special economic weather report brought to you in association with Bank of New Zealand. Today we look at the announcement from Fitch Ratings that it has cut New Zealand's sovereign credit rating to AA from AA+. That's a one-notch downgrade and the first cut in New Zealand's sovereign credit rating in 13 years. Fitch has blamed New Zealand's relatively high foreign debt. In fact, our foreign debt, net foreign debt to GDP ratio is much higher than other countries with similar AA credit ratings. Fitch is saying that New Zealand's household debt remains persistently high and that the New Zealand economy shows few signs of really addressing its external imbalances. Now what Fitch is talking about here is our current account deficit. That's a measure of how much we have to borrow and how many assets we have to sell just to keep up with the amount of spending that we do. Remember, when you spend more than you earn, you have to sell assets or borrow money to make up the difference. And we're still borrowing quite a bit and selling assets. Now, this vulnerability to foreign investors and foreign creditors means that the credit rating is important. The New Zealand dollar has fallen about one US cent after the announcement from Fitch Ratings to around about 77 cents. But what does this all mean for borrowers and savers, house prices and the currency? Well, obviously the currency has already fallen. But for borrowers and savers, it's worth looking at the funding costs for all that foreign debt we've got. Now, some economists say that this downgrade could marginally increase the funding costs that our banks have to pay on the foreign debt, and that this could eventually be passed on in the form of higher interest rates for borrowing, and not necessarily for saving which would be obviously more expensive. But we're not quite there yet. You'd need to see another 6 to 12 months of volatility in financial markets for those funding costs to really start getting bedded into the funding costs of the banks and then get passed on to us. However, if Fitch is followed by other credit ratings, that could be a different story. Remember, Fitch is the lower ranked of the three big international credit ratings agencies. The big two are Standard & Poor's and Moody's. Now some people think that Standard & Poor's could follow Fitch. Standard & Poor's has New Zealand's credit rating on a negative outlook and uses similar sorts of methods. Moody's doesn't have New Zealand on a negative outlook. We did see some moves in wholesale interest rates after this announcement. The swap rates, as they call them, and bond yields rose by about 3 to 10 basis points. Now we'll see whether that's permanent or not. But the Fitch move, it does send a warning shot across the bowels of the government to be careful on spending and borrowing. Remember, the New Zealand government is still running a structural budget deficit of between 3 and 4% of GDP, some people think. Now that's aside from all of the stuff with the earthquake. Essentially, all of those middle class tax breaks and spending on working for families and interest free student loans, they are still in place and we are still borrowing to pay for that. Borrowing to consume, not necessarily to revamp our, our economy. The Fitch rating downgrade should prove as a warning that New Zealand still needs more economic reform, more ways to improve our savings rate, do less spending, and invest more in infrastructure and future production, particularly of exports. Fitch is saying we're really not there yet and we need to work a bit harder. Particularly because more than 60% of our government debt, remember this credit rating is on the government debt, more than 60% of our, of our government debt is being bought by foreign investors. And they will decide, essentially, our future, unless we can get our basic structure of our economy right. I'm Bernard Hickey, that was a special economic weather report brought to you in association with Bank of New Zealand. Thank you.